Welcome back. So now let's try and actually log in. Now, first of all, to actually log in, we have to explain to Firebase what type of login system we want to use. And we want to use the email password setup. And that's, I have to kind of give a provider and a method to actually start using that. And that's kind of this new constant I added to the app module, which has a provider of password and a method of password. And then I just, inside my initialized app, the Angular Fire module we did earlier, I actually add this new uh, login config. So now it knows that we're going to log in with username and password. There's a lot more about this, of course, on the Angular login page right here. If you scroll up, you'll actually, under configuration, you'll actually see there's something with the um, Firebase authentication here. So you have to put in this, in this case, they're using Google and they're redirecting uh, from Google. We're going to just go from the password side directly and that's all you have to do. Now you can also inside the login directly actually explain if you want to override specific logins that here we're going to log in with password, here we're going to log in with Twitter, here we're going to log in with GitHub, etc. So you can actually override the login type depending on how you want to log in. Since we set it now inside the base uh, app module, then it'll just be for the entire application. We'll log in with password and username right now unless we override it. So let's actually log in now. Now, here it gets a bit scary again because I'm going to take, this is actually what we call a promise. I'm going to convert that into an observable just to keep the code as it is for the rest of our code. So let's go back to the code here. Going into our user service. Now, I've added a few lines of code here. Let's just um, remove this so it's back to what it was, like this. So first of all, I'm going to add in the constructor. We always have to add, of course, we need Angular Fire, right? Now, normally, if we do an faf.auth.login, like this, like it shows on the page, like this, I'll just show you here. You can actually just add the login credentials right here. But this is actually going to return a promise. I want to return an observable because that's what our uh, login component is actually using right now. So I want to wrap our promise into an observable. We did that earlier as well, but now we're going to do it with something real here. So I'm just going back to the code I had just to explain it again for you. Um, first of all, I'm going to explain to the login system that when I log in, I'm actually going to return an observable with a Firebase auth state. It's like a user, but it's with even more information about how you logged in, uh, your user ID, there's a lot of stuff inside this, but it's, it's where we had the user before, but now we just have more information about the user. And here we're just grabbing the promise that I just talked about where we can just log in and convert it into a specific promise that returns this Firebase auth. So that's kind of what we're seeing here that he's doing here to log in. Very basic. Now we take that promise and we convert it into an observable by using the from promise. So now you also have seen this, how actually we can convert a promise into an actual observable. I'll save this and guess what? We're actually able to log in now. So going back to the cost planner and notice now they are back and we don't get an error anymore. Now, there's a few things that aren't working yet. We'll fix that in the next couple of lesson. But let me just show you that if I do write my login now, I'll actually be told if something is wrong, you can't log in. But if I write the right password, you'll see that I will actually hopefully log in to the actual real uh, Firebase. So that's all we have to do for the login. Now, spend a bit of time, grab a beer, try to look over the code. We pretty much just grab a promise here, save it in a local variable, and then convert it into an observable so that we can keep using our beautiful observable uh, pattern that we already used inside the login component. So everything is hunky-dory, everything is working. See you in the next lesson where we'll play even more with this login system and start pulling out users using the login system. See you next time.